Are you guys ready for your headline? Yes! Okay, you may have seen them on Amazon Prime, you may have seen them on Netflix, you may have seen them in the coffee shop around the corner. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Stan LaFarge. about 
poop all my baby. I don't know. I don't know. Either that or dirty Johns. I mean, I, I don't know what to talk about with you people. You don't know my life. You don't know what it's like to live in San Antonio. I live in San Antonio. I'm white. I'm white. It's nice to be back here where I'm not a minority. This is the whitest crowd I have performed in front of in like three years. I feel safe. And now you feel awkward. You're like, well, should we feel awkward? Yeah. Yeah. And I love it. I'm the white guy in my group of friends. I'm their leader, so I'm the only one who can get a credit card, but I'm the only one. All my friends are of some type of dirty, right? They're, they're, I think, uh, black or brown or gay or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't like that. I do. I got a black friend, Debo. Debo, that's he's from, he's from Washington, D.C. He lives down now in San Antonio. He calls me cracker. <laughs> I don't get offended, sir. I don't get offended, sir. <laughs> I don't get a fan. He calls me cracker. Doesn't bother me. I'm like, why are you calling me cracker? Because you're dry and salty. I don't even know what that means. It made me laugh. It can't hurt my feelings. We give each other gifts. Last year we drew each other's name for Secret Santa at the comedy club Christmas party. You know what he gave me? A box of crackers. <laughs> oh, it was funny, huh? Not So I got him a white noise machine. <laughs> Just sounds of people going to work on time, paying the bills. <laughs> By the way, that joke's Negro approved. I've done it in front of black audiences. <laughs> You're not nearly as uptight as you think. But I'm good with that. I'm good with it. I don't care. I don't care what anyone is anymore. I'm at that point in life where I don't give a shit what anyone else does. Anyone else is getting to that point? Or, yeah. then, you know what I mean? I'm too, I'm too worried about my life and all the foibles, all the stupid things I've done, and how I can make amends to all, for all the terrible things I did at some point. And so I said, how can I do that? I know, I'll get engaged. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do, because that's the type of pain that you can put yourself through, that really, really comes out on the end, right? Oh, she's, we got engaged, and I gotta be honest, it was stupid, I should have known. No, no, because you don't need that anymore. You don't need to do that. I don't need to buy a diamond ring anymore. You hear me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I think women are kind of equal to men. I do. <laughs> Not really, but you know, in an abstract way. You know, Just I, because I have never called in work because my flow was heavy, you know. <laughs> that girl did, she called in, and that seemed reasonable to her. I'm like, how, how can you call in for this? And they understand. I was like, I will fire you. <laughs> I just try to be nice, though. It's hard, because... We have little fights. It's never real big fights. I think that's the thing. Some some of you are with people and you fight all the time. I don't know why. Why stay with someone like that? My mom told me, well, you don't want to die alone, do you? I was like, yeah, I do. I <laughs> do. I want it quiet at the end. I don't want someone like, well, what's the bank account number? <laughs> Did you leave the key? There are things worse than dying alone. How about dying with someone you hate? <laughs> about the last word you ever hear being, I win, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. I'm engaged. And I, just, I shouldn't have to, I think women, again, we shouldn't have to buy you a diamond ring unless you're giving us the gift of equal or greater value. Doesn't that make sense? Isn't that what equality is? Okay, the lonely guys up top, like, <laughs> some of these are just jokes, people, okay? But not this part. Uh, I don't wanna, I think we need to either give equal gift or 
go back to the old days when the family would pay you to take your dumb dog off your hands. <laughs> Not a much better time in history. <laughs> Mr. Flanagan, I've had my eye on your daughter for quite some time now. I love her. But what can you give me? <laughs> hey, can you tell you something, Daddy? Can you marry a flag? No. Ooh, you're not married a poor and company woman. No, no, no. I can marry a flag and see that mountain over there will give you 20 acres of that fine bottom farming land with the soil so black it won't be allowed in a Starbucks to charge your phone. <laughs> So we end up 
we end up, I get up, we get coffee, and, and then I'm like, babe, you gotta get up. She's like, all right, she sleeps no more. I was like, honey, you gotta get up. We had to leave at 10. It's 9.30. She's like, oh my God, I gotta get up. I was like, all right, she jumps in the shower, gets out, takes a 20 minute shower, like, why? And uh, then, you know, she's brushing her hair, and kind of did it. She's like, I, I, I gotta put my makeup on still. I was like, well, we're gonna have to go because we're gonna be late. It's like an hour drive down to this town. And uh, she's like, yeah, I've seen, I've seen you do your makeup in the car before. It'll be fine, okay? Plus, I'm driving, right? And so we're driving along, and she's still hurt because she had to do her makeup in the car. <laughs> <laughs> right? And she's got that pen, you know, the pencil they use on their eyes, right? and, and there's a part of me that just wants to slam on the brakes and drive that into her brain. And she goes, shut the hell up. But I don't, because I'm a Catholic and I'm a good guy. <laughs> And uh, so we get down, we get down to the funeral, we get up there, and it's a Methodist church, so I don't, I don't know what the hell those people do, but, uh, but we get in, I'm like, I'm killing a chicken at the end of the service, I, I don't know, the Methodists, right, who the hell knows, right? they don't get to go to heaven, so I don't care if I attend them, and it's in the Bible, written by Jesus, the Catholic, so, if you don't believe that, you hate the Lord, I don't give a shit what you think, right? so, We get there and we walk up to the box and look down and she turns and says, oh, they did such a good job with her. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you take your time with the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Little fights. <laughs> Not real shit. Yeah, if you do this, you get your you get your five freebies, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, you know, it's fine. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like you get to pick, you get your five fantasies, so like you get to pick a list, and if you ever get to meet them in real life, then you can hook up, right? And it's it's, it's okay because it's on the list, so it's no harm to the foul. You can move on with your day without any of the you know sadness. And, um, <laughs> So on her list, she's got like the rock Joseph, and uh, the the Thor guy, Jason Mimosas, uh, <laughs> a couple other you know douches, and, and and on my list, I had two of her sisters. <laughs> Get 
Alex Fave on there. Oh, great, you recreated yourself. Fantastic. You're a douchebag. Now we got another. What do you do? <laughs> and now we get, to have, we get to have that line of douche extended for another 50, 60 years. You know what I mean? It's like some people are so arrogant. Oh, I'm so great. I should create another one of this. No. I was in a mall a while back in Dallas, Texas. Kids screaming, like, give me a cookie. I want a cookie now, Brenda. <laughs> Now, I don't know how you were raised, but if it was me acting that way around my mom, she'd be like, oh, you want a cookie, do you? <laughs> well, you still want a cookie? No, I'm the... <laughs> He's a goddamn ad bill, though. <laughs> But now, if you hit a kid in a mall, holy shit. <laughs> His parents will come up to you. Similar to Hudson Falls. And, uh, 
And I did that go to the guy and the guy said, He was a Jew! <laughs> he was a Jew! Jew! You know, like he was standing outside Schindler's train, right? <laughs> <laughs> Like, how the hell do you know? Like, then the picture of the Last Supper, he's passing the check over to Peter. <laughs> See, it's hard to tell sometimes. Just when I, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about until I hit the stage, until I figure it out. So, like, sometimes people get offended. I don't get offended in like, I get offended in actions, not in words that much, you know what I mean? Like, I like to mess with people on Facebook just because everyone's so hyper and stupid and sensitive. And it's at both sides, by the way. So stop this. Get off the internet. You're all dudes on there. Uh, <laughs> stop there. At least have fun with it. Troll people. Have fun with it. Make the people who are just so uptight just tender themselves, okay? <laughs> we had a weird election a couple years ago. I know that. Right? You can vote for a rich old white man with a small wiener and syphilis or Donald Trump. And, and I was like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. wore a flag on his lapel, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of conservative. I am, I am, uh, but I'm also liberal. I'm probably like a lot of you. I have values which are on both sides of it, so nothing really defines me. Because uh, I'm not, I'm too conservative to be considered a Democrat, but I'm too liberal to really be a Republican these days, you know? And I think a lot of us are like that, because we have different values. Um, I smell pot sometimes. You know, I'm not going to lie. This weekend, I don't know. I, I heard it's in New York, right? No, no, not yet. Not yet. My aunt just said, "Not yet." <laughs> You're know, gonna bust out the bomb? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I can see her smoking a big old blunt and drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> Sometimes, like a uh, Republican, I do. All that means is before I get high, you know, I buy my snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I put them aside for later for when I'll need my snacks. Sometimes I get high like a Democrat, you know, I'll get high and have someone else buy my snacks for me. <laughs> and then bitch about the snacks I got. <laughs> I don't. 
to be a slideshow of fat, doughy kids eating popsicles. <laughs> I'm just tired of and We were down in New York City. Holy shit. Everyone begging us. Do you have panhandlers up here yet? Oh, oh yeah. 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 It's it's weird because, like, I get it. I get it. Sometimes you're just down on your luck, you know? Everyone has a bad point. We've all, we've all done something where we're like, I'm not really worried about me, right? But Jesus. Everyone, I, look at me. I don't look like I'm rich. <laughs> Unless wealth was measured in how big your fucking head is. How <laughs> <laughs> big your forehead is. It's, it's a family trait. I have homeless people come up to me and go, hey, you got a dollar? You, know, you got a dollar? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. do. <laughs> Well, could I have it? Oh, no, no, no. I'd be one step closer to that. No. When homeless women come up to me and ask me for a dollar, I always give them 78 cents. I want them to feel like they're in the real workforce. I didn't write that joke, by the way. American bit, okay? It's not even a real thing. It was just made up to keep women angry. Jobs, that's what happens. <laughs> like, that's just the reality of it. I know, and this is hard to hear sometimes, but I'm not speaking, so don't interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the man, you could be doctors, but you choose to be nurses more often. Even though you could easily be a doctor, you choose to be nurses because you care more about people, which is why you're stupid. <laughs> You become a, a therapist instead of a psychiatrist. See, these are, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, and I, I think women can do a lot of jobs that men can't do, but I also think there are jobs that you shouldn't be allowed to even apply for. Like firemen. You got real goddamn quiet there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should. Women shouldn't be firemen. Yeah, there I said it. And if it offends you, I don't care. You know why? There's not one of you can carry me down a goddamn path. <laughs> and I'm not gonna die just so you feel good about the job. I gotta get out of here, man. Um, I have uh, I honestly enjoyed you guys. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting live comedy here at the Screen Theater. I hope you had a good time tonight. Yeah. Uh, Try to do this again, maybe over the summer. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I really like I, I like doing stand up, and I love that my mom's here. And, my, and I have so many of your faces that I recognize, like, and it's also I've had some friends who came here who I haven't seen in, you know, or two decades or something. And you get to see your faces and go, fuck, you look terrible. <laughs> Yeah. My mom 
Very funny one of you is Scotch Irish, right? Well, you're English because you're from England, but your mom was Scottish and your dad from Cork in Ireland, so work with me, mom. <laughs> If I had an Indian name, it could be Drake with Sunburn, you know? I dated, I dated a native girl, too. She was big. She was a big girl. Kind of like some of you ladies, right? She was this big, but she was, she was big. 428-pound chip on her. Yeah. That, that just was more of a wall. That was a wow, right? That was a big girl. 428-pound Chippewa Squaw. Or Chippewa. Chippewa. Her name was Walks with Difficulty. <laughs> when I met her, she was selling sleep apnea catchers by the side of the road. Her dream car was a food truck. All right, I'll stop. There. Right. Anyways, my dad shared this joke with me. I figured I'd share it with you. Uh, and thanks for coming out. But uh, so here's my dad's joke: uh, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi walk into a whorehouse, and the madam says, "What are you three gentlemen doing here?" And the priest says, "I've come here to save the lost members of my flock." And the minister says, "I've come here to take these evil people away." And the rabbi says. I have a coupon. <laughs> 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 